This conference will now be recorded. Right, so uh, today we are going to understand about uh, uh, the kind of projects, what is that we are going to create in reference to the JIRA. This is what generate was. At the same time, we must be knowing about the kind of different, different apps which are uh, essentially important when you are working on it. And what is that I am to explain about the JIRA parts. In reference to the JIRA, there is an option called JIRA squad. So where is the Jiffer squad? So normally Jiffer squad is uh, something which normally used for test management, all that. Means if you want to do any kind of test management, all that stuff, generally this Jiffer squads and all everything is being used. So normally, especially in reference to the working on Jira projects, so when we are working on agile environment, these Jiffer squads and all everything are being used for different, different reasons. Like uh, if you want to create any kind of uh, test case management and all everything. So this test case management and all everything can also be used. At the same time, there are options like timesheet tracking, all that stuff, because time to timesheet tracking and all everything are being used to, to create uh, the kind of time sheets. What is that we are using? But we have an advantage where we have an option for uh, try for free kind of stuff, but which will be available for the next 30 days to the people who wants to use it. Apart from that, if they want any kind of uh, uh, full version which wants to be used by the people and all in further days and all, they have an option they can use it. That's all generally. This is all something uh, being used for. Now, what is that I'm going to do? I'm just taking an application uh, in reference to the Jira part. So wherein I'll be showing you about how these generally this project settings and all everything can be done. So in reference to the project settings here, you can see for ex as an example of an online shopping, which was taken by me. So here you can see there are different, different features are available because whenever we are working on the project, the basic thing is that to configure. So when, first of all, we have to configure the kind of features which are required and enabled for us to perform it. So either it could be a roadmap, either it could be a backlog, right? Or it's it, either it could be an uh, something relating to the boards reports right so all these things can be enabled this is one thing can be done if you want to enable any kind of reports and all we can enable it this is one thing at the same time in reference to the boards and all everything if you want to change any kind of board status and all everything those board statuses can be also be done for example if you can see here in this board we, there are three different options to do in progress and done so now if you want to change this uh, and as well as if you want to add any kind of columns to the existing things that also can be done here accordingly. This is one thing which we can do it. At the same time, there is an option called uh, filters. Like if you want to customize any kind of filters and all where, for example, there is a filter which we are writing out. Whatever the filters we need to create, right? Resolve uh, some sort of filters and all everything in reference to the deployment environment name or something of that sort. Usually these deployment names and all of the things should also be used here accordingly. It depends upon the kind of information, what is that we are using, whatever the information you'd like to perform all this stuff. So all these things can be used, but make sure there is a filter query which has to be written here. So it depends upon the kind of filter, what is that we are going to create. So these filters and all everything has to be used accordingly. So it depends on the kind of quite categories, what we have. So where we need to understand about the kind of information we are performing so about the kind of uh, information what is that we want to use right so how this is to be used in what way right so this is where you can see there is a category called empty which was created now this is how generally the creation of filters and all everything custom filters and all everything we can do this is one thing now if you want to create one more filter where for example if you would like to know about the issues where we want to describe here in reference to the information, what is that we are doing it itself. For example, when you want to uh, create a change type in this change type where we, we are mentioning. Yeah, so where we are mentioning about uh, uh, the kind of normal, right? So this is where generally. Right, so change type which is equal to normal. This is how generally this filters and all custom filters and all everything can be created in this Jira. So this is one more thing which there are because these are the filters which are useful for us to make ourselves to search more advanced. Means whatever the searching you wants to do, the searching can be done by us 
accordingly whenever and where it, wherever it is needed and all this custom filters and all everything can be changed whenever and wherever it is needed so custom for customized filters in reference to the jira application is essentially important if you want to make any kind of changes into the existing stuff all these things can all, can be done here accordingly at the same time if you want to update any kind of issues in reference to the project for example there are issues are there issues nothing but epic which is a large scale of solution sometimes it could be a bug means whenever there is a code was developed by the development team if any testing team has identified any kind of bugs were identified in it so that can be updated even equally at the same time stories you can write you can write multiple stories what are the tasks of tasks all these things can be updated here depends upon the kind of requirements what we have and all so those can be updated so as far as the project settings itself is concerned along with that if you take the apps and all if there is any kind of tabs apps which we want to use for example if you want to make any kind of slack integrations in reference to the jira software what is that we require and all so where we can see that means if you want to track the progress of the work what is that we are doing followed by the kind of team what is that they were doing and all so there is an option called connect to the slack so that even progress of the work in slack can also be seen but even to see the progress of the work especially in reference to the jira there are different different reports we have like burned down charts burn up uh, sprint burned down charts burn up reports all these will be available so that you don't require any uh, slack integration as separate it depends on the customization of the team what is that they need because organization to organization it will vary some organizations wants to see that uh, the customization has to be made according to their requirements all that so if that was the case generally the slack and uh, this uh, slack integrations we do otherwise we can create these bundle reports and all everything so that uh, people can work on this accordingly the way what they want along with that if there are any kind of dashboards to be created or if you want to add any kind of people to the existing stuff we always have an option where we can update these things so this is how generally the customized filters can be done where you have to go to settings and all so in whatever the settings we have taken and all that so there you can see there is an option called custom filters in the board itself in this customized filters this is how generally the filters of jira everything can be created so this is all about this if you want any kind of uh, requirement or if you have any questions in regard to that please reach out to the contact details which was posted in the below to this video thank you